Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you an example on how to find the 95% confidence interval using your TI Inspire CAS calculator. A similar question to this was asked in the multiple choice section of the 2021 Maths Methods exam and 28% of the students got the wrong answer. And so hopefully after watching this video, you should be able to quickly and accurately answer confidence interval questions like this one. So we've got of a random sample of 50 golfers, 4 were found to play golf left-handed. A 95% confidence interval for the proportion of golfers in the population who play left-handed is given by. To quickly work out the 95% confidence interval, we need to use a one prop z command in the calculator. To do this, we go to Menu, and then Statistics, and then Confidence Intervals, and then one prop z interval. For this question, x is going to be the number of golfers who are left-handed. And so we're told that this is 4 and the sample size, n, was 50. And we want the 95% confidence interval, and so this is going to be 0 0.95, and then click on OK. The C lower and the C upper values give us the 95% confidence interval. And so correct to three decimal places, this is going to be 0 0.005 and 0 0.155, giving us the answer, option C, for this question. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up or comment below and let me know. And now that you know how to answer this question, log into the Maths Methods Club where you can learn and practice exam style questions related to confidence intervals. All you need to do is click on statistics from the main topics and then confidence intervals from the subtopics. Go to question type and select multiple choice and then click on filter. This is then going to instantly group all the past Maths Methods exam questions in the multiple choice section related to just confidence intervals. See if you can do the 2021 multiple choice question 3, which was a similar question to the one we just did in this video. So hopefully you should be able to answer this question quickly and accurately. And after that, try out all these other questions. There's only a few to test your understanding on confidence intervals. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.